They're called the chameleons of the sea, changing their skin color at will. These cuttlefish do amazing color and pattern changes. They can do real distinct zebra stripes, they can do a pattern that's a, a saddleback, and they can do this thing that we call a passing cloud, where they get a fluorescent color around them, like a green, and they can just rotate it all around their body to hypnotize their prey. They do this with skin that has up to 200 pigment cells per square millimeter. These yellow, red, black, and brown chromatophores are layered above reflective white and iridescent cells to create all types of patterns. Cuttlefish can also use mussels in their skin to change its texture, perfect for blending into the gravel below. They have these fins on the outside, so they cover themselves with gravel. So you wouldn't be able to see it right now, but there's one little eye that I'm accustomed to being able to see. Cuttlefish are related to the octopus and squid, and like both of its cousins, it's got a parrot-like beak and an ink sac in case it needs to make a quick exit by squirting black ink in a predator's face. Their body shape is different because they have what's called a cuddle bone. The cuddle bone is a porous, gas, and water-filled shell made mostly of calcium carbonate. It helps control the animal's buoyancy. Cuddle bones were once used in making polishing powder that was added to toothpaste, but today you're more likely to find them in a bird cage as a calcium supplement. They eat crabs, fish, and even other cuttlefish. But on today's menu, shrimp and crawfish. They have eight arms, but the neat thing about these guys is they also have two feeding tentacles. The tentacles are about the length of their body, and they can shoot out the feeding tentacles to catch their food. They're predators. They have excellent eyesight. In fact, they have some of the most developed eyes in the animal kingdom, and despite color blindness, the cuttlefish can see well in low light and detect polarized light. Their distinct W-shaped pupils help control the intensity of light entering their eyes. Recent studies also show that cuttlefish are among the most intelligent invertebrates, but that's something I don't think these shrimp appreciated. For Discovery News, I'm Jorge Rivas.